In this video, we're going to duplicate rubber products for your vintage and antique car. Um, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to mold and cast and making gaskets for your car. Here at Knob Soup, we recast vintage steering wheels, restore, mold, and cast dashboard knobs, escutcheons, and rubber items for antique, vintage, and classic cars. What I have here is a 1936 to 39 Lincoln Zephyr boot that goes on the firewall and then the steering column goes down through it. It's a rubber item. This is probably 80 years old or more. Um, somebody's painted it. Okay, I put a coat of primer filler on it on both sides. Uh, I'll put a little filler in a few places that are kind of broken up but I'm going to make a base on it now. Well, I cut the hole. The next step is to glue down the original down on this board that I made. I made some keys and I've glued them in place and I also cut a keyway in, in the top of this. Uh, and I also put a little bit of Vaseline on it so because it is silicone and again silicone sticks to silicone and we don't want to do that so I put a little Vaseline on it. The next thing I'm going to do is make a mold case for it so I took a little piece of paper and cut, cut a template. Now I'm going to take some foam, it's your basic foam that you can get at Home Depot. This is great stuff because you can make molds real fast and your silicone won't stick to it. So, and you can sand it really nice and smooth. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to put this down on here. Lay it down there and then I'm going to cut it down. Cause I don't, number one, I don't need it that high and then I can use the second half for the bottom side when I take this all apart. Okay, I've cut this now and glue down each side of this. You gotta leave at least about a half inch between your object and your, your wall. The silicone that I will be using today is Moldmax 29 NV. The NV stands for no vacuum, so that means it's ideal for anybody that doesn't have a vacuum chamber. And it has a short curing time. It's only five hours. Okay, we're ready to pour. So we're gonna put this at the lowest spot. As you can see, I didn't cover the entire letting this harden up. I've let this mold sit for a couple hours and it's not fully hardened, but it's hard enough that I can put another mold on top of it. And the reason why I'm doing it, instead of filling this entire mold, what I'm going to do is just the very top part. And that saved me a certain amount of <coughs> mold materials. Okay, this top part now is nice and solid and firmed up. If you use rubbing alcohol, it softens glue uh, sticks, the, the glue that you put in glue guns. Okay, we're gonna clean this up. But what we're going to do now is put a pour spout on it. And we're also going to put some Vaseline on this because as you recall, silicone loves to stick to silicone. Now the next step is to take the glue gun and to make a bead, to put the second batch in there. Now we're gonna let this sit for six hours at room temperature, come back, and then the good part starts when we make a final 
product that you can brag about. Now that the bottom side hardened up after more than five hours, I'm going to break away all the blue foam. I'm going to trim it up and clean up the mold and get ready to cast. Now I made these wooden forms, I'm going to put a couple of rubber bands just to hold it together. Just to make sure. Okay, now, now we're ready to pour in some goop. And the goop we're using is going to be task 14, which replicates rubber. In fact, it's a little better than rubber because it, uh, it's urethane and it'll last a lot longer. As you can see, it's rubbery and it'll stay that way for a very, very, very long time. Now the formula for this is part A is, let's do it nice and big so you can see it. A is 120 and B is 100. All right, so we're just going to add these two together. I've got 10 minutes to get it into that mold and into my pressure chamber, so we're gonna have to work fast. I pour one into the other and then I put it into a third container. Holding this straight up so it gets all the way down inside. Okay, I just took this out of the pressure tank and we're ready to unveil it to see whether all our work was worth it. So I put down new paper for the unveiling so be nice and clean. That came out very nice. We'll just trim these things off, but it's a nice rubber mold. It's not really rubber, it's urethane. But it looks just like rubber. So there you have a 1936 to 39 Lincoln Zephyr firewall and steering column column boot. It doesn't look even look like I need to do much cleanup around here. I am very pleased with it. Thank you for watching.